is always a celebration when we get to participate in baptism. We have two young ladies who come, and uh, one one actually came about six months ago, and uh, Christy came more recent. And uh, we're going to participate in that today. A couple of quick things that I always like to cover. That's what baptism is and what it is not. We know that baptism does not save, but it is subsequent to salvation. That Christ was baptized early in his ministry. And it was at that point that God the Father looked down and said, That's my son. I'm pleased with him. That's the thing that we remind our candidates as they come to be baptized, is that God sees you as his child and he's pleased with you. Again, as, it is, as we uh, ended Christ's ministry, he spoke to the church. He said, go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's where we, the church, are invited to participate and to be part of this great celebration. We have two candidates and their, their stories are unique. And I've actually asked for permission to share just a little bit. With that, uh, most of you know Christy. She's kind of new to the church, been here for a few months, and uh, uh, she lost a baby this week. <laughs> but even in that, she said, you know what? I need to do this. I need to follow through with that. Elizabeth Bouchon, some of you know her, and uh, she came to us, was saved about six months ago. It was a matter of days after that that her brother passed away. And she had all of that to, to deal with. And she came back and says, you know what? I need to go back and, and finish up the first things. And be baptized again. So it's in this season of the soul for these two young ladies that they come before this body uh, making a declaration being baptized. Amen? Amen. Chris? talked about uh, salvation, about life, about baptism, and, and what that means, and you know, she's, yeah, she's ready, she's convinced. Uh, so with that, I ask you before this body, is it your declaration that Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Yes, he yes, is. And is it your intent to follow him all the days of your life? Yes. Let's pray together. Father God, I thank you for my sister. God, I thank you that nothing has escaped your attention. And Master, you have been mindful of her all along. That you knew her early. Today you declare this is my child. I'm pleased with her. Father God, we ask that you would bless her that you would keep her, guide her, and guard her. Master, that the peace that passes understanding that your word promises would be hers. We thank you that you are God, that your intent is for our good. We do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Here's the basic point of confession. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Joshua 1 9 says, Be strong and courageous, do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And we give these shields as a reminder that God will protect you and walk with you. But we also give this as a church that says we commit to encourage her and walk with her on her journey. If you agree with that, say amen. Amen.
She talks with an accent. I don't know how many of you remember, but it wasn't, well, it was about six months ago that uh, uh, Travis, one of the unique times, had an altar call, and yeah, guess who comes to the front? And I think Sandra uh, came with her and helped her, helped her come up and make that decision to be a follower of Christ. And that's a celebration in and of itself. Just when we come to that place that, that we say, you know what? Yeah, I'm in. I'm going to do this. And so it's, it's been a while coming, but uh, today's a good day. Amen? Amen. Amen? So I ask you, Elizabeth, for this body. Is it your declaration that Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Yes. Yes. Is it your intent to follow Him all the days of your life? Yes. yes. Amen. Let's pray together. Father God, again, I thank you for my sister. God, I thank you for the grace that you have showed her. That you have truly been her God. God, that you have stood beside her in the hard times. That you sought her. That you have declared, this is my daughter, I am pleased with her. Master, we ask today that you would bless her. That you would keep her, you would guide her and guard her all the days of her life. Master, that you would set a light before her. And her feet, that her feet would stay straight upon the path that you have designed. That everything she sets her hand to would prosper for your kingdom's sake. That you would accomplish it in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. It's in his name we come, we ask. Amen. 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 Elizabeth, based on your professional faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One Wednesday night years ago, we gave her the nickname Chicago, and you'll know why when you hear her talk, <laughs> but today she comes as Elizabeth and is our sister in Christ, and what a blessing that is. 